Ladies night. Yeah. <laughs> really like, wow ladies. Hey, and Emerald, you look utterly <laughs> stunning tonight. Thank you. You came on, so you had a flight from London over? Yeah, just uh, flew over from London, arrived at the airport around half six, jumped in a taxi and threw on the dress here. Fab, <laughs> loving the dress. It's all glamour. Oh it is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's that showbiz. <laughs> <laughs> so Emer, you've had a really busy few weeks. It's been absolutely a whirlwind. I did the competition Miss Cork a few weeks ago. Um, during that, I flew to England and I competed at the British Nationals for Taekwondo and I won for the second year in a row. My uh, weight category for sparring and just it's just been the most ex uh, positive experience in the last while. Like So Taekwondo is a massive part of it, but like it was, it, I know you're big into the health and fitness, but Taekwondo is a massive part of that as well for yourself. Yeah, so I've been training Taekwondo since I was eight. Um, I really, really got into it at a high level when I was about 18 when I moved to Cork to go to college. Uh, I got in the Irish team then when I was about 19 um, and I've competed at two world championships, the most recent in Argentina and then two British nationals as well, which I've won. And so I just love health and fitness, but especially Taekwondo. I, uh, for you were my teacher in school, I bet this is a huge compliment coming from a gay guy. I wouldn't miss a <laughs> PE class if you were my PE teacher. Lucky I'm in a girls' school. Yeah? Yeah, like I'm Well, some of the girls won't miss class either. <laughs> <laughs> Good, they don't want to miss PE. PE is so important. And I think, like, it, it is. Like, I didn't realise that myself when I was in school. Like, I, I was going in every day of the week with a note written by myself from my mum saying, oh, I can't do PE this week. But I think massively, I think and the only person who affected was myself because I yeah. ballooned in weight then. But I think P is fantastic for your mental health. So it really is good. And as a P teacher, you must promote that yourself. I promote that every single day in school because the girls obviously, they do try and bring in the notes, but I do not accept it because I was in a girls school myself. I know that you bring in notes to try and give you yeah. your PE teacher, but like I'm only just out of school myself. I know exactly all the tricks that they want to pull on me. I don't let them because... As I said, PE is so important. It, uh, it improves your mental health and it improves your sleep, just your positive self-image. It's, so, it's just so good for you, so you can't miss it. Ladies, Spice Girls, are oh, you a fan? Big fan. So Mel B <laughs> did an interview over the weekend with Piers Morgan on Life Stories. And she's saying that herself and Jerry, Marvin Gade and got it on. <laughs> now, Jerry is saying, stop right now. Thank you very much. Don't disrespect me. Don't bring this up. Um, like, who do we believe? Like, did they, did they get a bit friendly after a gig one oh night? My God. Or, like, what, what's your perception on it anyway? Uh, well, will we ever know the real truth with a story like this? That's I see, well, like. Mel V is now dating a woman. So, like... So, there might be a little bit yeah, of truth to it. Yeah, there is. But at the same time... But uh, like if something happened 20 years ago, do you think you should leave the past in the past? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. If, especially if the person's married now with kids, as you said, yeah. like married with kids now, don't bring it up. I know, like, as you said, you, she might want to have a new image out for the media and everything, but I think leave everyone else out of it. Like. What about yourself, Emerald? What do you make of it? Well, you know, obviously it's, is it true, is it not, whatever. But I think the only thing is that coming from Jerry's side, it, it shouldn't be seen as a shameful thing. So maybe yeah. that's where the issue is that to just have her like. And, and not, she's not thinking of her marriage, yeah. but I think in every marriage you go into, like you can't like her marriage is now. Yeah. He, he can't judge her on what she did twenty, 20 years ago. Twenty years ago, yes. Like she is, like she's. Everyone has a past, like. But I suppose it is something. I guess it was Jerry only found out the news on Mother's Day. She's like she wanted to enjoy her Mother's Day oh. with her two children, yeah. and she's blasted of all the newspapers in the UK <laughs> saying herself and Mel had yeah. got friendly in Wembley one night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Jerry Halloran denied it. She has denied it, Joe. Yeah. She has denied it, but... But it's nothing to be ashamed of, like, absolutely not. Like, and her and past it's not... Is her past. Yeah. So you yeah. still have a past even if you're, you're married now. But it'd be the same yeah. way if, if someone uh, said that they got with you, you wouldn't want it to be brought up all these years no. later, no. regardless if it's with a man or woman. It's not fair. It's not, it's not fair, fair, but it's nothing to be ashamed of. Like. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I think, I think it looks worse that she's denying it. Yeah. yeah. I think she should Unless put her, her hands <laughs> up and say, yeah, she had a great we night. We won't drop the hand. <laughs> 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 On a Spice Girl. Well, like, I think the past should be in the past. I think a sexual experience as well is a very private thing. So if yeah. Jerry did dabble or was curious about her sexuality and experimented, the past should be kept in the past. Yeah. But, uh, some people are now saying it might be a decoy for like ticket sales, but the, all the concerts are sold out. So I suppose, as Pierce said, she has to be brutally honest. And it's looking like Mel was brutally honest on the night to, to Jerry's horror. <laughs> Emerald. Busy weekend for yourself, all starting Thursday night. Oh my god, the stress has already started, yeah, <laughs> god. Thursday night we have the uh, Cork Burlesque Festival is starting um, with the, the Rebel Cabaret. 
and then on the Friday we have also the Rising Rebel competition and our gala show on Saturday. So it's busy, busy, uh, crazy weekend. Going to be having loads of performers over from the UK, from Europe. Um, a load of Irish, really talented performers will be coming down from Dublin, from Galway, places like that. And um, it's it's just going to be really, really mad weekend. <laughs> There's a couple of things in life get me excited. Food is a massive one. But I think the other word, burlesque, it's very kind of like, <laughs> so it's a shimmy off the shoulder it's moment. Central. It's like burlesque. And again, it's just, have you all seen the movie with Cher and Christina Aguilera? And oh. like, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's a fantastic movie, but I think from your both being on tonight, I think one thing that showcases you both really well, and it's something you both lose is body confidence, because I think, Emerald, to do what you do, um, performing on a stage, and I think burlesque, you need to be body confident. You definitely, <coughs> it, it comes a lot from, from the burlesque. Um, when I started, I, like, there is a level of body confidence that you have to have, but as soon as you go on stage and you keep going on stage and you like really show yourself to the to the audience to the world it you'd improve so so much and like i have become way more confident even doing things like this i never would have done before um burlesque came into my life so yeah and how did burlesque come into your life because it's you're from mallow right yeah, yeah that's yeah. kind of like countryside <laughs> and i wouldn't imagine there was many burlesque performers in mallow when you were growing up no god no um no. it was just kind of like something that's always been around that i've been interested in the first night was not a disaster but uh not the very best night so it's just been a lot of learning a lot of improving since then what about yourself Eva? could we ever see you channeling like christina and doing a bit of burlesque oh i'd love to oh yeah. my god i'd love to try it but i'll try anything once like i'm yes. taekwondo burlesque yeah <laughs> a hybrid oh my god yes yeah see we'll yeah. take the world by storm Oh my God, yes. Oh, what? I just... what a lovely marriage we could have. Yeah, well, we actually have um, a workshop on the Saturday with Havana Hurricane, so that's kind of a beginner's burlesque, bump and grind the history. Should definitely come along to that. Oh my see. God, I would absolutely love to. I'll vlog it. Free nipple tassels. Um, <laughs> I'm not going if oh, not. No. <laughs> no, we, would, we wouldn't go straight, straight into the nipple tassel. <laughs> I, that's all I, I am. As a gay guy, what's a nipple tassel? <laughs> it's literally whatever, like exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, you twirl them. You twirl them. Yeah. <laughs> can you do both with? Can you do alternate? I can do, circles? yes, alternating. Clockwise and clockwise. Wow. Oh my god. It's all in the show. Oh, that's some talent. <laughs> Have we anyone wearing a nipple tassel right now? No, you'd know. You'd know if everyone was there. <laughs> So, Emerald, I know a big part, uh, someone who's a massive part of the festival as well, uh, Fifi LaRue. My, uh, my co-producer, Fifi, couldn't be here tonight, um, but she she is like... She's a ball of energy, is Fifi. Oh my God, she is. She's she's mental. But she's just one of the most amazing people I've ever met. Um, and it was last, it was more than a year ago now at this stage that I turned around and I said that this is the person that I need to do this festival with. Um, she was born in Carrigaline, but she actually spent most of her life in Dublin. We both moved to the UK together, so we've been together for the last year. Um, and I just knew that she was definitely the person that I had to have on my team helping me do this because she's just so organised, just very business-minded and everything, just a just great person. <laughs> and I know it's starting on April 4th with the Rebel Cabaret. And then we're moving on to the Rise of Rebel competition and then we move on to the gala show. It closes with the gala show. Yeah. Um, yeah, the gala show will be our, it's our main event, it's sold out, standard tickets are already sold out for the gala show. We have international performers, Havana Hurricane, Kiki DeVille, who was on The Voice. Um, and all, is that a, Kiki DeVille, is that a judge on All Together Now? Yeah, she is, so yeah, as well, yeah. Get him, find it, ask it, like, find out what happened with Jerry. It's oh, like, yeah, yeah she that's the judge. the entire <laughs> scoop yeah. there. Oh my God, yeah, we'll yeah, do, definitely. When you find out, like, did they use Marvin Gaye and get it on? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that, that she's also a judge on uh, Jerry's the judge on that, yeah. It's all connected. So, yeah. It is. Yeah. All, <laughs> all interlinked yeah. to it. Was it interlinked with the two of them? <laughs> <laughs> so Eva, Miss Park. Yeah. Tell me all about it. How did that come about? So I entered it originally because um, I'm not actually from Cork, but I I went to college here um, and I made so many friends and I love Cork so, where so is home? much. Claire. Claire. Yeah, I'm Banner Girl. I love Killaloo. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. my god, all but all the West Coast Claire is yeah. the most is the most stunning part of Ireland in my opinion. No, it is. Yeah, and I think so anyway. Um but I entered Miss Cork because I just wanted to meet some like minded girls 
uh, in Cork City because I know the whole Were you thing... going in with a Mel B conception or were you going in with a Jerry Hannibal conception? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no comment. Because <laughs> I, I knew all of, the whole thing about like Miss Ireland is you have to be you have to be driven, you have to be motivated, but you also have to be a good person, really into charity work. Um, and I found that out so much in the competition. The girls were just, like, they're so well-spoken, they're so confident, but they're all really involved with um, with a certain topic that they, they just feel passionate about. Um, so what I linked myself to is the Sexual Violence Centre in Cork City. I've been raising money for them for the last uh, few months, um, attending different events, like, just uh, representing them well. Um, and I've been running a, a project with my two, my transition year students about consent. So we're in a national competition, of, uh, like discussing that now. We've been going to different schools in Cork City, giving consent workshops as well. So how have you found that? Amazing. Yeah. Like all the feedback we've been getting from the other students is that they've never got educated about it. Uh, like no one's ever even bothered to talk to them about I think consent. consent is a massive thing and I think the fairness is and it's a one thing because soaps are real life like millions of people watch them and soaps are covering it so widely at yeah. the moment consent and what is consent because just because a girl goes home with you on a night out doesn't mean that they're going home to you know absolutely you know endure activities or carry out activities or so it doesn't mean like a certain things I think consent is something that should be brought into Maybe some sixth class onwards in primary school. But that's what we're, like, if we win this nat national competition, that's what our aim is to be, is to do anyway, yeah. is to get in contact with, like, legislation makers about educate and educators to try and get this into national curriculum. Like, as early as sixth class, but definitely in first year. It should be taught in some way, shape, or form because students actually don't know about it. They don't, like, the feedback we got was that, no, like, they just were so happy that anyone was discussing what it Have you seen the recent like, case that EastEnders are covering at the moment? No, I haven't. Yeah, no, that's one that I definitely think you should check that out. Like really? it's, a, it's a big case of like consent and who's right and who's yeah. wrong. And um, like the girl went home with the guy and then and show up the next day and she wasn't aware of what happened. So it's really, yeah. they're really covering it. And soaps are a great way of educating people because they've got mass million followers as well. So it is a great way. And they try and mirror society. They try and Did mirror you? the yeah the real like hard hitting topics that are going on in all of our lives at the moment. Like they do. And Emerald Elsie, the first see that piece, I'm like really gripped by the piece on your neck. It's fabulous. <laughs> it's it really is. Um, there's a, a big shop in Leeds, and it's just pure cheap costume jewelry. But yeah. wall to wall, I think it might have been like two pounds something. No, it's like lovely. That. <laughs> lovely. So I'd say like, how would you feel about like are you, are you taken to the stage over the weekend and like say like burlesque and. I think it's just the word burlesque. It's so sensual. It's a, yeah, it's sensual. It's gorgeous. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. But like, say, and like, to guy, like, a young generation are coming forward now in the burlesque world and really showing an interest and how body confident. And I think with burlesque, there's no rules either. There's no, like, where you don't have to be a certain shape, a size, or like, you can, you just you take the stage and yeah. channel a performance so and be who you're meant to be. This is something that's been really important when we were, um, uh, getting performers for our festival we wanted to have diversity so we have performers of every oh, shape, shape size color gender um and it, it it is really important in the burlesque world because you you see like the mainstream society is a very one way of, of looking at women and and when it comes to burlesque it's really all about body positivity empowerment um and like with our festival we really wanted to create a safe space um, for everyone to just come and feel welcome, see body types that you might not always see, especially around Cork, um, and just to, sh to show that burlesque is not just, just one way, it's not one way of being, but the whole, like, it is a mirroring society, like you said, that everyone has completely different shapes, sizes and everything, so when you come to our stage in Cork, you're going to see that reflected back at you, so I think it's really important to, to, to encourage it. I think going to as much as like there's a lot of international acts coming over for the Ballast Festival, and uh, we have an immense talent in Cork alone. Like I think like there's so many like local performers taking centre stage, like Foot Dreams Performing Arts put on the greatest show in the Opera House the weekend. Uh, my friend um, Leticia Lissin stole the show. Well, I think we can see her there on the screen like an amazing performance that she put on. Like I think a greatest showman, the two, the movie. I think they're definitely going to be calling Leticia. Have we all seen the movie The Greatest Show? I think yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it is. 
And I think that is breaking the mould in society as well, that you don't, like, as utterly stunning as you are, you are. Like, we can be all, like, a, from all different walks of life, and so, like, there's no restrictions either. I think all these beauty shoots at the moment as well, it's great that some of the magazines are, like, channeling all different body sizes, and that must be something yeah. that you're proud of, um, Emerald, as part of the burlesque community. Yeah. Oh, it, it's incredible to see, and, and there's still, obviously, so much more to be done, um, but it is really... An amazing kind of thing to to see to be involved in, and to be uh, kind of pushing the boundaries. Mean like being plus size um, myself, it has been really positive to be included and to kind of see other bodies and everything like that. So yeah, it is, it, there's still a whole lot of work that definitely needs to be done, but we're always working towards it and always. And I know the Cork Less Festival have kindly given two viewers the chance to go to the festival see it all in all its glory and um, so take it in there's acts coming from all over the world to take part in this festival it's not to be missed it's running from the 4th to the 6th of april so guys to enter this week's competition like this post thank you you want to bring to the festival to experience that burlesque feeling <laughs> and share 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 guys thank you so much for joining me tonight thank Eber. you so much thank, for having us thank you so much for joining me tonight emerald i wish yourself and fifi all the best and guys, thank you so much for joining in tonight. Uh, be sure to tune in next week when we go live again at 8.30. Tonight's show is sponsored by Azor Jewelry and Horse Car Sales Planning. See you next week, guys. Thank you. <laughs>